Welcome to an accessibility tour of PressReader version 5.4.3 on iOS. This video was created with support from the Government of Canada's Social Development Partnerships Program Disability Component. The opinions and interpretations in this video are those of the creator and do not necessarily reflect those of the Government of Canada. It was produced with cited assistance. PressReader offers a wide array of content to its readers and has included some impressive accessibility features. Before we dive into some suggested improvements, let's take a quick look at why they're important. To get the most out of a smartphone, those who are blind turn on voice feedback. Voice over on. Then they can swipe quickly to different controls on the screen and hear any text that appears. Playbooks, Overdrive, Libby, Press Reader. Press Reader, Search Publications. Search field. In order to navigate a screen effectively, it is important that all buttons be labeled. Controls need to be swipeable, and screens must be clear of hidden text. We will now explore three accessibility challenges with the current version of PressReader on iOS. We will show a number of unlabeled buttons and the difficulties this results in, demonstrate voiceover speaking in visible text, and highlight the challenges faced when attempting to use the main function of PressReader, reading text. Unlabeled buttons are a persistent issue in PressReader. We'll show you a selection of them now, but this list is by no means exhaustive. On the main screen of the app, the bookmarks button is correctly labeled. Bookmarks. Bookmarks. Heading. All. Heading. But the buttons in this feature are not. The search button is unlabeled. Button. And the menu button is incorrectly labeled as I customize. I customize. Those relying on voice feedback to use this app must tap each unlabeled control to find out what it does. This trial and error method makes it much more difficult to learn the app, much less navigate it with a degree of proficiency. Unfortunately, backfield interference is another serious concern. Occasionally, such as when accessing a menu or dismissing a pop-up, voiceover will mistakenly read text and controls that are no longer visible. We refer to this phenomenon as backfield interference. It occurs when new controls are painted over existing ones without first clearing the screen of its old content. Here, we'll demonstrate one area where backfield interference is prevalent. It's important to note, though, that this issue does crop up randomly and persistently throughout the entire app. From the main screen of PressReader, we tap Accounts in the sidebar. Accounts. Accounts. Heading. When we scroll past Sign Out, text is voice that is not visible on the screen. Name, expert, sign out, link, FD, Ferris, all, my collection, settings, read later zero, create new collect, shared, settings, he Being prompted to interact with controls that do not exist represents a level of frustration rarely experienced elsewhere. Please ensure that each screen of your user interface is free and clear of old controls and text. PressReader offers a text view for most of its publications, but the feature is difficult to access. For this reason, reading publications is quite challenging for those who rely on assistive technology. When a newspaper is opened with voiceover running, the user is left in a non-responsive screen entitled PressReader Grabber. PressReader Grabber. Press Reader Grabber. Press Reader Grabber. In order to change to text view, the user must first press the page view button at the bottom left of the screen. Unfortunately, because VoiceOver cannot pick up any controls on the screen, it is impossible to press the page view button with it running. The user must first turn VoiceOver off. VoiceOver off. Ask a friend to visually press the page view button. Then turn voiceover back on. Voiceover on. Landscape. Toronto button. I custom add to my pop IMG. Image. Actions available. At last, apart from a great deal of backfield interference, the newspaper is readable by voiceover. If desired, the user can press the three dot button at the top right of the screen. I customize button. 
Then tap the Listen button to read the paper. Button. Listen. Done. Button. There was blood everywhere. More than 200 people killed in Sri Lanka's bombings target churches, luxury hotels officials condemn Easter Sunday attack, an attempt to create major... IR anarchy. play. Button. IR play. Most voiceover users will not be able to carry out the above steps. It is imperative that the reading interface be made more accessible to streamline the above procedure. It takes a lot of time and hard work to produce an app of this caliber, and we appreciate your willingness to explore increasing its accessibility. The modifications requested here can be made without impacting the visual look and feel of the interface, but will be greatly appreciated by those reading your content by voice.